Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing amazing, have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Today I'm going to be testing out some products. Most of them are from Yes Style, meaning they're like K brands, makeup more from like Korea, Japan and all that. But I do have some um, brands from the UK as well. I'm so excited to be trying them out today. Some of it, most of it, it's first impressions. So stay tuned for that because um, I'm obsessed. And if you want to see how I did this look, please keep on watching. Yeah, okay, let's stop. Okay, you're welcome. So I went ahead and did my brows. I have them done already. I'm just using the Kai Brow. A brow pencil in the shade Ebony and I just realized I ran out like that that was the last and now I'm gonna start with the skin I'm so excited for today's video I'm gonna prep my skin first I'm gonna use the waterfall yellowing acid toner by Jumiso I'm just gonna put some in my hands because I feel like that's the best way to use it in my opinion because I warm up the products and I just tap it and just move my hair back. Put it everywhere. I go upwards like this. I'm gonna like grab it to do its thing. And on my neck as well. And then on my chest because you can never prevent too much. I love this toner because it's not drying. And it just moisturizes the skin instead of like sticking into it and then making it super dry. Because it's a toner, I feel like it's so much more comfortable in the skin. So look at the bottle. It's huge. <laughs> they have 20% off on the website, so I'm going to leave a link down below for you to go and check it out. Because it's one of the best toners I've tried. And now that it's all nice and sunk into my skin, it feels nice and moisturized. I go in with my moisturizer, so I'm gonna go do that off camera, and I'll be right back. Today we're trying some very new makeup to me. It's all like mostly Korean products that I've been meaning to try out because I'm obsessed with her beauty and skincare culture and everything. We go so I get some excited things. We got a new mascara to try out. We got a foundation. Come on. Got a foundation. Eyeshadow palette from this brand that I'm so excited. Lip products, eye products and another ironic um Toner with black rice. I'm gonna start with my skin, so I'm gonna use the. Is it Misha? Let me show you. Is this product right here? I can see that. And it's the Cushion Foundation. This is in the shade uh, 21 Light Beige. This foundation we only had in like three shades, so I wanna say. So I just really eyeballed it there. Um, it looks like this very nice and slick packaging and we open it up <gasps> got the sponge oh wait I wish you could feel that wow. and then you got the actual product so you open it up I'm so obsessed wait we just all oh, right so it's like this and then don't break it you just pull it out. Okay, there we go. Right, that's gonna be too dark. Maybe not, I don't know. Let's have a look. So you take the sponge, you apply it with a sponge, and then you just dab it. Oh my god, look at that. <gasps> okay, so it's supposed to give you high coverage and it's got a satin finish as well. So you tap it into the skin. Wait, what? Let me get my mirror. Wait, you what? Oh, what? Can you 
信用薄いなあれなアクスパクトスカバージュ and the shade is it's good shade is good I'm shook right now I'm just like taking a moment to take it all in does not sit on the pores on the nose Can you see that? This is one layer. What? Like, can you compare the sides? Let's see how it's gonna cover them. I'm ready. Oh, it does have a nice scent. It's not too crazy though, which I like. Never thought I would be using cushion foundation. So I've got this much on. Just gonna tap it. I'm obsessed with the shade because it's a tad bit. Wait, actually, no. I'm obsessed with the shade because I feel like it's got the right undertone for me for once. Let's see if we can do another layer. being honest I don't think I've tried foundation that has this consistency like it feels I don't know it feels like it sat on my skin really well can you see that I am obsessed and it's so compact as well like you put it on your bag you're good to go I'm obsessed I do, I highly recommend that. We'll see how it's gonna last though, but I do have high hopes for it. Because it's a very well um, known product in Korea, so. I'm gonna move on to concealer next. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camera Concealer. This has got a satin finish and it's on the lighter shades. I have mixed feelings about this because I did try it twice, but I feel like I'm not doing something right, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna highlight a little bit. Like that. And I'm gonna take my Peaches and Cream brush in the shade, shade, in the number PC18. I'm gonna blend it out. I'm taking it to my eyes as well because I want to prep them for eyeshadow later. Go a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I do prefer my beauty sponge to blend out. So I'm gonna go over with this. Yes. The foundation feels still a little bit sticky. So it has a satin finish anyway, but it looks good. I'm gonna set it anyway because I always, always set it. Then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Refi blush in the shade Rose. This is the lightest one they've got. I've already used it and I love it. I used it in another video that I haven't uploaded yet. Like as a first impression blush, because I thought that was gonna go up first. But anyway, and I take my finger and I just dab it on the highest points of my cheek. And then I take a max stippling brush and I just blend it out. This is pigmented, but it's so nice and blendable and it gives the nicest color. Look at that. Look at that. And then I take more and then just dab it on and build it up as much as I want to. Yes, I'm obsessed. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Definitely check Refi products if you can ha if you can get your hands on them. It's really affordable. That's like 14 pounds. So now that the blusher is on, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna use the Morphe Brightening Pink Powder. It's from the Bacon Set Collection. And then I'm just gonna take the Morphe um, 
four five one brush and just take it under my eye tap it and then onto my eyelid set it a little bit And to the areas that I want to set the most, like the smile lines, my chin, and then going in with the Pictures and Cream PC04 brush. I'm gonna take it to the rest of my face, but I'm gonna leave the, where I put the blush without powder because I feel I tried it the last time I went out. I do get oily, so I like to put powder everywhere. I left this area without it, and then I just put some regular blush on top, and it lasted the entire day. Could you not? Foreheads as well. Mm -hmm. I am living. For bronzer, I'm just gonna take the Makeup Revolution Pro Bronzer. Looks like this in a Peaches and Cream PC08 brush. I'm just gonna slightly go over to the areas that I need, mostly like my forehead. I'm not going overboard on my cheekbone. I'm like, I'm focusing more on the blush. Who am I? I don't recognize myself. And then with a smaller brush like this, I'm gonna go in and contour my nose. I'm just gonna start from the very top. And just drag it into the eye to make it connect and look a little bit more natural. Then go all the way down. Sometimes I do like to contour with cream contour, but today I really want to see the foundation and tone. So, mm. and then I draw a line right here as well, like this. It looks a little bit a lot right now. And then I'm taking my blush brush and I blend it out. Sometimes I do go over my powder though, my powder brush. Blush, I don't think I'm gonna put anything over it. I'll see how I feel at the end. But now I wanna move into the eyes. I cannot wait. So I got this palette right here. This is from the brand Style Manta 3CE, but I call it Ace. I don't know how you're supposed to call it. This is in the shade Overtake. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I haven't opened it. I haven't tried the shades or anything. It's all nice and sealed. So it looks like this. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. <gasps> yeah. So I'm gonna take the sticker off. It's all in Korean. This is so exciting. And why do I have to sniff everything? This is what it looks like. So you have your transition shades, a little bit darker shades to smoke it out. You've got your shimmers. Oh, I want to do like a little swatch test here. Yeah. What's in the other shades? Why am I whispering? I'm obsessed. I'm gonna start with them two shades here. I'm probably gonna blend them together a little bit. Look to how it pays off on the eye. Let's see if we can build it up. I'm gonna 
build it up a little bit with this color here and a denser brush. Wait. Oh wait, that's that's intense. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna drag it out a little bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Looks like oh hello. It's more like a sultry shade kind of palette. I'm obsessed. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try the shimmer ones now. I'm gonna first go with a lighter one. I'm gonna use my finger because that's in my opinion the best way to use any shimmers because the warmth of, the, of your finger really helps. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that as well, put it on top. You can create so many looks with this because you've got your shimmers, you've got your darks, you've got your nudes, your mattes. Like honestly, look at that. And the quality is really, really nice as well. Then I'm gonna go in with some glitter. This is from Etude. Is it Etude House? I wanna say. Yeah. Looks like this. This is the Mirror Holic Liquid Eyes in the shade Diamond Tear. And it looks. Are you ready? It looks like this. Oh, I mean, if that is not a diamond here, I don't know what. So it comes like a glass type. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? Where should I put it? I'm gonna put it underneath. Because I've seen they do that a lot. It's like a trend, but too much. Now I'm gonna take some and put it on top as well, like on the inner corner. This is not a flattering plan, but <laughs> that is something else. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry just in case. I'm back, I took a little break, had some pizza. Now I'm gonna move to mascara. This is from Japan. Um, I've seen this, I think, on TikTok, if I'm not wrong. So I really wanted to try it. Oh, Looks like that. Mm. It says super waterproof. I'm a little bit scared. Right, the one looks like this. A nice thick one that goes a little bit thinner as you go to the bottom. I curl my lashes first. Just give it a fair shot. It's nice and separating the lashes. Mm. I'm a little skeptical just to see how it's gonna come off because it's waterproof. I don't really use waterproof mascaras, but um, I thought I'd switch it up for once. I'm gonna go in back with this palette and I'm gonna go in with mm, that shade right here in a small brush. And I'm just gonna put a little bit under my um, eye. Ooh, I'm loving it so far. And then lips, I'm just gonna line my lips with World by MAC as always. like this and then for lips I'm gonna go on with the ink velvet from Peri Para. it looks like that this is in the shade beauty pick rose 15 I wanted to get the 18 because it was a bit more like dusty rose but it was sold out so I got this 
one looks like that. It's so cute. Yellow spig mints are so popular in Korea, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So I put it in the middle, mostly. Oh, that's really bright. <laughs> Can blend it out. Oh, it's really smooth. I'm gonna like blend it in with a lip liner. It's it feels like so velvety, so like it feels really smooth. So that is the makeup look done. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with the shine on the eyes, the pigments on the lips, and the foundation. The foundation, oh my god, like, I think my number one was foundation, and then the eye palette out of like the makeup products. I'm gonna have all the products linked down below, and my code for yes sale as well, so you can get some percent off your purchases. I do recommend checking them out because they do have all these K beauty brands and all that uh, for you guys to try them out. I'm gonna leave my Instagram right here. Please like this video, subscribe down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch me today and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!